reason we're talking about John today is to establish that you know who have you know him as a regular guy, not from what we see in the papers or the pages. You knew John. So right. so that's why I wanted to bring that up before I bring up this guy. Now, this guy, well, we all know who he is. He turned against John and he was his best friend and right hand, I guess. Uh, Sammy the Bull. Um, Gravano. Why do you think? I don't, I don't know. Tell me what you think about what he did. Well, I know in my heart, I believe him on anyhow, that John would have never told on anybody. You know what I mean? He may have been flamboyant and all that shit, but he was believed in the code. You know what I mean? So when that came about, him Sammy saying that he, he did this because he thought John was going to turn on him, that was, that was Sammy's reasoning for what he did, you know? I don't want to go to prison for fucking forever. So I'm going to give them what they want. Now, they would have gave him fucking anything to get on that stand and testify against John. And I mean anything. You know, right. you know but like I said, I made a lot of, like, talk a little more about that. You know, how he, what he got to do with that is crazy. You know, sure. But with the government, I, I don't understand how they, they did that, but they got away with it. He had 19 I, murders. He did 19 murders that he confessed to and he did five years. That's, a parking that's, ticket. That's a parking ticket for every murder. 90 days, right? Yeah, 90 days. Is that amazing? It's like, it's like driving without a, a license for every murder, right? <laughs> now, here's a guy who admit that his mom that he did this, right? And here's John sitting at the bench table saying, I didn't kill nobody. Right. I mean, how the fuck does that really work? Excuse me, brothers. How does that really work? You know what I mean? 19 <laughs> murders. Three, mo three months for every time he whacks somebody. Nice. Nice work if you can get it, huh? I don't know, I guess. Crazy, well, right? You know, you know, that's just like uh, Whitey Bulger. He had yeah, yeah. In back pockets, do what he wanted. He had to cut a bunch. Yeah, right? So that's that's a piece of work. So how did you feel about what, what? Uh, how did you feel personally about what Sammy did? Do you have anything you want to just say to Sammy personally right now? Well, this is my personal feeling. You know, he, he, he's in a position that was high, high, God is upper, upper, you know, upper class in, in, in the situation he was in. Everybody looked up to him, you know what I mean? In that case, because, you know, you got to be somebody to be an underclass. And what he did, what he did is, is he really put the finishing touch of what I believe was anything of honor and respect. You know, when a boss or an underboss does that, what does anybody up below have got to think? You know what I mean? Well, if he could do it, you know, it's just like kids. Well, if he could throw a rock at the wind, so could I, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. That's, that's, from that point on, I lost all, all heart. You know, like everybody says, out of respect, but what they really don't realize was what's lost was integrity. Right. Integrity was gone. You know what I mean? Like it didn't matter no more. It was every man for himself. You know? Yeah. It was a time. It was a time when every man stood up, and that's what it was. You know. Yeah. Let me, let me put it this way: these prisons would be half full if it wasn't for people telling on their friends, friends. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Friends. And, that's a hard one that hurts. Yeah, it's a tough one, man. Well, I'm sorry that you, you went through that time that you did with all of that. But, uh, you know, uh, I, I was talking to somebody the other day who's, you know, you know, loosely related family that knows Sammy. He's like second whatever, right? And uh, their opinion is, well, you know, he was fate, like John was going to turn on him. It's like, okay, like this today's whole opinion with, even guys who think they're gangsterish, they they just think that it's okay to tell if you're if it's bad enough, you can tell. Now, back in the day, from what I understood, and what even my mother taught me, you just don't tell any friends. You stand up, you make your bed, you lay in it, right? No matter how bad the bed is, right? So, I mean, I think that's what you're trying to say is the same thing. Is that there's no there's nothing left that you can rely on, and there's no men that just stand up and be men. I had an uncle tell me one time. If you win like a man, you'll come out like a man. You know? Right. You always have that respect no matter where you go. Right. But here's a guy who gets out in that whatever the witness protects break, and he's still bragging about how bad he is. Right. But I, I'd right. like to continue about him on another series. I, Let's I do I'm that. Let's cut it short tonight because it's a long night. We both had a long day. But we're back, guys. We're back. <laughs> and we're going to give you more. And Petey's looking good. You're looking good, <laughs> Petey. Thank you, Mr. Gismondi. Rock. Rock. I'd like to say something. Sure, uh, say something. Mr. Norris is listening and looking 
Hey, buddy, there's your hat. <laughs> love you guys. Thank all you. Right. I love these people. Stay yeah. healthy. That's all I ask. And stay with us. There's a lot more to come. Oh, there's a lot more to come. And don't miss our TV series that we're coming up with. Keep rooting for us, guys. And keep telling your friends. Let's pile these fucking subscribers up. Love you, Pete. Love you. I'm glad we're doing this again. I'm glad we're doing it again. Brother. All right. Good night, everybody. Soon. Good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yay.